Well, hey, good evening, and welcome back to my little gardening show. Uh, it's been a pretty fun weekend so far. The weather's warming up. I've been able to get some uh, seedlings outside to start the hardening off process. Actually, an ideal weekend for that because it's been overcast and rainy, so perfect time to do that. What I wanted to show you tonight is kind of the, uh, the mint lighter weekly feed uh, components that I've got here. Talk about that a little bit. So here we go. So here we are. Uh, first things first, I've got a, uh, an old five gallon bucket. And uh, some time ago, I got in one of these food grade lids. It's pretty slick. Um, a little bit of a cost of that. I think the lid was about seven bucks. But uh, the idea is that you put the rim onto the bucket and then you can screw this on and off and it screws tight you know and it's food grade airtight and I wanted this so that because I've got some little kids I didn't want them messing around with the uh, fertilizers and stuff but so for the uh, the mint letter weekly feed Again, I'm going to be experimenting with this this year. What you need to make this is a 25-pound a bag of uh, triple 13, triple 15, triple 17, somewhere in there. This is triple 15 I got from the farm store for about uh, 12 bucks, 11.95, something like that. Got a uh, an eight-pound bag of the uh, Epsom salt. I only need four pounds. Of that, and that was 587 from Walmart. And then uh, I got the uh, Mint Lighter Magic Micro Mixer, the the mineral packet. There's actually two. It comes uh, two in a packet, and the cost was 1595. I got this through Mountain Valley Seeds. Dot com. It was actually cheaper than the uh, growfood.com price because the shipping was free if you spent, I think it was $30. So I got two packets. So I've got enough of the, uh, the micro minerals there to make this recipe four times because it only requires one of these little packets. I've got a... Uh, a digital scale that I gotten probably oh seven or eight years ago. Let's see, let's reset it. Uh, when I was doing some eBay stuff, and uh, it's going to come in handy measuring this stuff out. These are 10 ounce packets, so I should have 20 ounces of material plus a little bit more with the packaging. Let's see how it comes out. One pound. Let's bring a rest on five or six ounces, which is really what I want. Like Twenty ounces, sixteen ounces is is a pound. So it should be right at a pound, four ounces, pound, five ounces, and that's right where it's at. So they didn't cheat me. That's good. So we're gonna mix this all together. I'm basically gonna pour the twenty-five pound bag. A fertilizer. In there. Oh, one other ingredient that I forgot to mention is perlite. Got my squeaky shoes. Got a bag of this stuff. They recommend adding. Uh, I think it was a. Uh, a half pound of perlite. I got this is 12 quarts. I got this at a hydroponic store um, that's near where I work for I think five bucks. So I mean I've got enough perlite to last me a really long time. But basically, um, a soup can of that poured in, and that's to keep the uh, offset the moisture that the Epsom salt would create, and it'll keep the mix from clumping. It's harmless, not going to do anything to the uh, soil or anything. It's just a, 
a filler to to help control the moisture that might be there and keep this stuff loose. So anyway, I've got this figure eight bucket with the lid. I'm going to mix all these components together and then to actually mix it up, I will, uh, I'll probably put the lid on and just roll this thing like crazy to mix things up and probably just do a little bit of everything at a time so that it's already kind of mixed up once we get going there. Once the, uh, the weekly feed is mixed up then when I get to planting everything out at the house um, there's a pre-plant mixture you put down which is basically agricultural lime and Epsom salt. Uh, two pounds for 50 foot or is it 30 foot row? Yeah for a 30 foot row. Um, so two pounds of that will be kind of worked into the ground first as kind of a pre-plant because calcium is kind of the backbone of this whole uh, program. And then the weekly feed would be a pound of this. Um, you know and I, I guess uh, the instructions say a pound a week for a 30 foot row but a lot of uh, people I've been corresponding with and some of the people that have been you know, watching the channel uh, have come in and saying you don't need to go that much and so really what I think I'll probably be doing there is just observing the plants and watching what happens and if they show signs of deficiency then I'll compensate and uh, you know put in amendments accordingly so other than that things are going good planted a, a tray of tomatoes Got that started. We've got some uh, lettuce starts that are sprouting. I'm going to transfer, once these sprouts are a little bit bigger, I'm going to dig them out and put them into a larger tray. This is butter crunch lettuce. So we're going to get that going. Got some more of these trays. Again, once I get my tools over here, I ought to be able to make these myself. They're pretty easy. So they're just one by uh, one by twos, I think. One by threes. Some uh, wooden slots there, and you're basically just you know making sure it's square. Shooting some uh, staples or nails in there, you know, with the joints glued and everything, you're good to go. This is actually a smaller box than this. So I've got an 18-inch square box, and a, I think this is a 16-inch square box on, from the, on the outside, those outside dimensions. <clears throat> oh, real quick, I got one of these as part of the order on uh, this, and this is kind of handy, especially for the little seeds. You can kind of adjust the size hole, you know, depending on the, uh, the seed that you're planting. But the idea is you just kind of tap that and then it's got some ridges here at the end so the seeds don't just slide on out. But this is real handy to get, you know, a little seed and just kind of tap it to drop your seeds in. So I kind of like that. So um, that's all for now. So, you know, again with the fertilizer stuff, that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight, and then probably uh, planting up some more, uh, you know, peppers and stuff like that. Since it's uh, mid March, it takes about eight weeks to get them up and hardened off and everything. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. So uh, that's all for now. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.